Hello guys, welcome to a new Blender tutorial, Grease Pencil Modifiers tutorials. We are still in those series to learn about Grease Pencil Modifiers. Today we will make these array stairs using Grease Pencil and Array Modifier of course. So these stairs can be even animated to be magical and go up and up and up to heaven. The final file will be available for free on Gumroad, check it in the description while you're there check the other files too some are free some are paid the paid one attached to free tutorials on this channel also if you want to buy me a coffee there's a link too in the description so let's start with a new blender file so let's start by drawing a rectangle with the box tool enter let's go to edit mode let's select this stroke here shift t to duplicate it like this and then rotate it r x 90 degrees hit 3 on the name pad and move this guy up here and then hit 7 and adjust it to be here duplicate it again and hit x to move it like this to the other side gx just be careful that we want to have the stair wider on the top than on the side i guess generally stairs are like that so let's select these two hit l to select all the vertices of these two strokes s y to resize them like this and then g y to move them here and you can keep the shape just like this or you can close it especially if you want to add fills later let's select this vertice and then this one and then hit Control j good job okay we can subdivide this line because it's just a straight line without subdivisions but later we want to move these guys and if we have subdivisions it will be harder to move the whole line like this Control z so this is the basic shape let's add the array modifier so under the hood in the array modifier we have all these settings here so the first one is the relative offsets and then we have the constant offsets i had a hard time understanding what's the difference between these two and then one of the developer alice told me how they work so the relative offset means that it will take into account the size of the object so here we have an offset of one on the x-axis one here is the length of this shape here so we select our shape here and resize it on the x-axis you see that they are still stuck together because even if you resize it one is still one the length of the shape is what is used to determine the offset between these two shapes Control z but if you use constant here and type in one it's like distance here you see here we don't have the m symbol but here it's like metric distance if you put it like this and stick these guys together and then you try to resize sx again well the same happens but i guess the difference will be seen if you go to edit mode so here in edit mode if you do resize you see that the objects keep their place but they get smaller or bigger and we have this checkboxes here because you may want to have like relative offset on the x-axis and then you want to have constant offset on the z-axis for example i think we don't need to use these two modes here but we will use the object offset that's because here in relative or constant offset you don't have a control for rotation and with object offset you can control rotation and even size let's go to object mode shift a add an empty i will add an empty with arrows to be more easily <laughs> visible and then select our object and in object offset we choose our empty so let's select the empty move it like this let's hit three on the keyboard let's move it up and stick it here and then we hit one to check if they are aligned here on the x-axis they are not so g x and move it like this maybe g z and move it a little bit down so now we have we already have this and we can select the object again and start adding steps you may want just a simple stair like this but we want to make it a spiraling stair to do that we will select the empty again and rotate r and then z on the keyboard and then move it like this we hit 3 again g y 
We are still selecting our empty. Let's try to hit G and then we hit Ctrl Z so that our empty don't move in the Z axis but only on a horizontal axis. Let's hit Shift to be more precise and look at it from a different angle. Maybe again G and then Shift Z. Yeah. This is it. So now you want to decide what is the curve you want. If you are satisfied with this curve, now we can go to edit mode and edit our stair here. Let's go to edit mode. I think I'm gonna just dissolve these vertices. So X dissolve. Don't hit delete because you will delete your stroke. And now we can select this vertex here and hit G and again shift Z. Don't forget that and align it with the other line and here we are now i want to get back my subdivisions because i want to add an arc here i should select this point and then this one here so should select this one yes i think i'm right be careful because sometimes you may select the wrong one what's great about the array modifier in edit mode is that if you disable array here in edit mode your real object is this one but you can still select vertices in a copy here but that can cause a problem because sometimes you think you select the vertice in this line but you select actually this one so be careful with that right click subdivide and let's adjust these two subdivisions very nice i will hit seven on the keyboard to see my stairs from above now we select this guy proportional editing and we need to change the mode here because we want a perfect arc we will use the sphere mode here we select this point it's already selected let's zoom out to be able to see the big picture g and move like this and i guess this is a good arc and then we do the same here g now with the wheel of the mouse make the circle smaller and do the same here we have a very good looking arc here now we can add a fill and that's optional of course let's go to our material here enable fill here and change color i don't know why this middle stroke is narrower than the others maybe because the top shape is not closed on this side let's go back to edit mode select one point and then hit l to select everything and then i think f to fill this gap here so f back to object mode and enable the fill and yeah the problem is now is that we are using the 2d layers mode here and the strokes yes 2d layers and that means that in 3d space the stair will not always look right and we can fix that by changing this but we have these grease pencil artifacts we don't have clean line art anymore what you can do to fix this partially is to delete this useless layer here and then duplicate this layer name this one fills and put it behind the other one enable auto lock inactive layers so only this layer is active go to the materials and add a new material in the slot put our solid stroke material and make it unique we disable the stroke here and name it stair fill maybe we go to edit mode we select everything here remember that only our fills layer is enabled assign this new material to the unlocked layer now we can go to the other stroke here and disable fill so we have a stair with only lines and in the other layer a stair with only fills disable proportional editing so this one l g z and move it down and then we select this one l to select everything and now g y and move it backwards and you see that the artifact starts to vanish so g y and move it like this nice let's go back to object mode and you see that the stairs look better now from the side at least from the lower side it looks different some of the strokes are invisible but it's not that bad if you know about a better way to deal with these grease pencil artifacts maybe something i'm not aware of please let me know in the comments so this is it i guess now you can have more and more stairs and the maximum is 50 if you want more than 50 you will have to add a new array modifier so i will leave adding a second array modifier as an exercise for you i will do the same and then leave the final file for you on gumroad for free of course thank you for watching and see you in another video peace